What's going on YouTube? Jeans here. Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are bringing you guys Groudon in Ranked Regulation G. Now, when it comes to Groudon, I'm going to be honest with you guys. This Pokemon kind of fell off in the restricted format. There are just so many good restricted Pokemon. Groudon has now seen the back burn. It's been on the bench. It's a bench player right now. But I'm here to show you guys why this thing is a sleeper restricted pick. And it is still very strong in this format. Now, this Groudon build right here is absolutely amazing. It's got Drought with the Assault Vest as an item, making it super tanky up against special attackers. Furthermore, it's got a crazy cool moveset of Thunder Punch, Brick Break to actually take away screens, which I love, Heat Crash, and Precipice Blades. Like I said, Groudon definitely not as good as it used to be in other restricted formats, but this Pokemon still very, very good. Other Pokemon on today's team features three Protosynthesis Pokemon. Brute Bonnet, Gyalgic Fire, Raging Bolt with the Life Orb. Cannot forget about the Life Orb. All these Pokemon are going to get a stat boost in the sun. So if we keep Weather Control, this team is going to thrive out fine. Our final two Pokemon is going to be Stellar, Terra, Shenpao, and Entei. Entei really strong with Choice Ban and Sacred Fire in the sun. You're doing big time damage and Shenpao is just Shenpao. This thing does big time damage all around. Outspeeds the competition, all that good stuff. Guys, you want to run this team for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner. And if you do enjoy today's video, don't forget to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without further ado, let's hop into our first match showcasing this Groudon team. Going up against the dreaded Shadow Rider Calyrex here in match number one, they have Raging Bolt just like us. On top of that, they got Urshifu and Chiyu. And last but not least, they got Galarian Weezing with Thunders. Now, Galarian Weezing very annoying because it takes off all abilities, and I wouldn't be surprised to see them lead that Pokemon. So I still might want to lead Groudon because even though if we're not going to get the Sun, Precipice Blaze could just rip up into that thing. Unless they lead like Urshfu with it, which could be a little scary. So I might just lead it with Raging Bolt. I think that's fine for us, right? I think that is pretty good for us. I mean, Raging Bolt, you got the Ghost Terror type. That's okay. I mean, I could just protect and maybe just Assault Vest bulk this shot out, right? It's not bad. It's not bad. Hmm. And then like Thunderclap away. Yeah, I like this. I like this lead right here. I like going into both of them. I could bring Entei in the back end. Just because Sacred Fire can do so much damage, but I feel as they resist fire pretty well with Chiyu, that could be Water Urshfu, and with Raging Bolt. So I might want to bring in a different Pokemon, maybe like Gouging Fire here. Gouging Fire, not bad. I mean, Breaking Swipe, you got Snarl. I do like this just for like dropping all attack stats. So yeah, I'm going to do that, and I'm going to bring in Shen Pao for a bit more attacking, a bit more offensive play style for the squad. So let's do it. Let's get after it. Raging Bolt and Groudon for the lead. Again, hopefully. They don't need Weezing because if we can get off weather, I think they can't change it, right? They don't really have any weather changer. So if they lead Weezing, I mean, we're fine unless they lead Weezing and Calyrex. But at that point, we would just protect our uh, protect our Raging Bolt, try to get off of Blades, and then kind of go from there because then we could just Thunderclap away through all that good stuff. Let's see who they end up leading. It is going to be, of course, of course. Every time I say, it's just like, every time I say something like that, like, as long as it's not this lead, we'll be fine. And then it's the exact lead. The exact lead, but we're gonna work around this. We are gonna work around this. We are so gonna work around this. So I'm gonna go for blades. I got fingers crossed and my RNG is on today. Everybody, cross your fingers right now. Help me out. Help a brother out. And I'm gonna protect my boy here. All right, let's see how this one plays. Go, Groudon. Do your thing, Groudon. Do your thing, Groudon. Oh, this is scary. Now we know this is scary. Unless this is wheezing. I wouldn't mind if it's wheezing. And it is wheezing. Cool. What typing got? Grass. That ain't bad. I mean, we're, we're more worried about this Shadow Rider Calyx more so than anything, right? We're more worried about Shadow Rider Calyx than anything. I'm hoping I can just land the blades into that and then thunderclap it away. And just get rid of it. So there's the Astro Barrage. I have the AV. The Assault Vest. I'm vested, baby. This is still going to do some damage, but Groudon should be able to soak decently well. Yeah, awesome. Beautiful. Lovely. And Blades is now going to fly away. It does double land, which is great. Thank you guys for whoever crossed their fingers. I love you. Dazzle Gleam's going to fly, and we'll be fine with that. Might want to Terrasalize my Raging Bolt. I might want to Terrasalize my, my Raging Bolt here. Honestly, we're just going to go for Heat Crash here. We're just going to Heat Crash, and no, we're not going to Terrasalize. I'm going to hope Thunderclap can just KO this thing straight up. I'm going to hope. He just protects. That's fine. So we're going to say bye-bye to Weezing. The sun is now going to come out. We are going to get that Protosynthesis boost. And, um... Actually, will he crash even KO? I hope it does. It does. Cool. So the sun's going to come out here. We are going to get the Protosynthesis boost. And they do not have Terra anymore. Which is massive. That's massive. 
That is massive. No terror for them anymore. We have Thunderclap ready to fly. Sun out for pretty much the rest of the match. I get this lovely photosynthesis boost, which I believe should be special attack. It is awesome. So now Thunderclap will hands down KO the Shadow Rider Calyrex. So let's see who they go into from here. They're gonna go into Raging Bolt of their own. Now I still have Terra on my Raging Bolt, but I really don't want to Terra it Ghost. That's the scary part. But I am gonna go Blades here, and honestly, I might just protect. I might just protect my Raging Bolt. Because to be honest, they're probably swapping their Calyrex, right? Just to dodge this Thunderclap. I would think that'd be the play, right? They don't want to stay here with Thunderclap just posing a threat. So I can just launch Blades and just simply just protect you. Because I think you're going to go for either Protect on Shadow Rider Calyrex and try to like Jericho Meteor my uh, Raging Bolt down. Or I think you're going to go for a swap and then uh, do that. Right? No swap, no Protect. Alright, so he's just staying on the field here. He's gonna. Oh, he's going for the Encore. He's going for the Encore. What are you trying to Encore me in the Thunderclap? Yeah, I think that was a play, but still, Blades is flying and Blades is connecting today. See what happens when my Blades connect? See what happens when my Blades connect? We go crazy. And for some reason, I guess RNG's half and half on me today. He's able to live on exactly one HP. So we got a one HP bandit to get things going here. But yeah, Raging Bolt's just so strong. It's gonna be Water Urshifu, and we should be fine here. Honestly, we probably should just Thunderclap this uh this Raging Bolt just to get rid of that because you could just attack. You could just attack, and instead of a Thunderclap, we're just gonna throw a Thunderbolt. Actually, I'd rather Thunderclap because I think Urshifu's going after my Raging Bolt, and they just cancel match. So a sweep in match number one, leading Groudon and Raging Bolt. Looking to go back to back here in match number two, but we have a little bit of a problem. Alolan Ninetales. Hate that Pokemon so much. They could lead it. They might honestly end up leading it. And we might just want to go into our Groudon here for the lead. That's our only problem. I would love to get Weather Control because my team thrives off of Weather Control. But if they go into the Ninetales and take Weather away, it's going to be a tough time. But we do have Brick Break on our Groudon, which is actually really good for us. They got Ice Rider Calyrex. They got Mimikyu. Two Pokemon to pop Trick Room. Then they got Rollaboom and... Incineroar, which could be annoying considering considering uh we don't have clear eminent on Groudon, but I do have it on Gouging Fire, which I want to lead. So I'm gonna go Gouging Fire here. I could go Shen Pao. Um I kinda would rather go more so of like a special attacker with Raging Bolt. And I think that's good for us. And then go Groudon and last but not least, probably Shen Pao here. I mean I could honestly go Entei. Yeah, I kinda like Entei a little bit more here. Just the firepower it has. Super effective onto Calyrex, Ninetales, and onto Robin with just fire moves. With just fire moves. So that's big time for us. That would be big time for us. But looking to go back to back here, start off the video 2-0, that'd be amazing. Groudon and Rage Bolt did some work in match 1. Not even work. They worked overtime pretty much. They swept. Absolutely killed it. Absolutely killed it. But let's see who they end up leading here. It's going to be these two, which is fine. I mean, you can fake me out. Um, Mimikyu's gonna pop a trick room. We already know it's happening. Um, can I howl and swap out Mimikyu? Could I do that? I have howl. I'm gonna give that a try. I am so giving that a try. I am so giving that a try. I feel like I have to. Because we know he wants to go for fake out and... Oh no, Hal's, I thought Hal was Roar for a second. My fault. My fault. Alright, so from here, I mean, Breaking Swipe's not a bad play. I mean, it won't affect Mimikyu, that's the only problem. Um, he's faking me out and kind of just getting after me. Our best bet would probably just be taking off Focus at, or Disguise here. So I'm going to do that, and... I might as well just double down this slot. Yep, there's Fake Out. Cool, so he's going to be able to get off Trick Room. Um, I guess it's just a waste out Trick Room kind of turns, right? I mean, he'll probably just go for like a parting shot this turn, which I don't really mind because I'm going to break and swipe because I know they want to go into Calyrex. He could be clear admin, which is a slight issue. But there's Trick Room. There is Trick Room. So we know Mimikyu has Play Rough, which we do not like. Um... I feel like we just have to go for Breaking Swipe here. And do I want to Terrasilize you? 
You I want to try to slash you in the ghost. I could just hard swap and maybe just go into like Enta here. Not bad for us. And just save the Raging Bolt. I could obviously protect. I think I should just protect this turn. We gotta waste that trick and turn, so let's just protect. Let's just simply protect. Let's just simply protect. He definitely wants to go for a player off in this slot. Just for a knockoff, so he's gonna take off a clear amulet. No big deal. We're wasting our trick and turns, which is the most important thing. He goes for Shadow Call. Wow, good thing we didn't terrestrialize. Do you not have player off? Or do you just know I'm Ghost Terror type? Alright, so let's waste out these turns. Uh, I'm gonna go for actually just like a Thunderclap into that slot. Let's do some damage. Of course, your Rocky Helmet, too. Kind of odd. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna go for another Breaking Swipe. I wouldn't be surprised to see you go for a uh, Parting Shot here. If not, you're just wasting out Trick and Turns for me. So, Thunderclap's gonna fly here. Actually, do great damage. Are you going for Shadow Call again? I kind of hope so. There's the Parting Shot. So, we're gonna be able to Breaking Swipe as long as this thing's not clear. Amulet, we will get a. Uh, we will get a nice physical attack drop, but the problem is Calyrex is probably clear amulet, right? And it's definitely Calyrex. It is definitely Calyrex. Let's see what you got cooking here. Give me nine. Okay. Okay. I don't mind nine tails. Shadow Call is still flying in this slot. We're going to be able to soak that. You are just letting me break these turns now. Or just give me these turns. So I can go get weather control if I want. I can so go get weather control. I'm going to go for flare blitz here. And I'm just going to keep thunderclapping into this Mimikyu slot. I'm surprised it hasn't went for a flare blitz. I think he thinks I'm going to terrestrialize. I think he thinks I'm going to terrestrialize, and I just haven't. I just haven't. But Mimikyu is so dope. I love using Mimikyu. I feel like it's such a good Pokemon. Like, the disguise ability is just top tier. And being, like, one of the only Pokemon, or the only Pokemon to learn it because it's a signature ability, it's just amazing. It's just, just elite. They go for Thunderclap. He is going to go for something else. Let's see what he's doing here. He's going to go for a curse. So he's just sacrificing himself here. Good little play there. Not going to lie. Curse yourself. You were going to die regardless. I like it. I can get down for that. And Moonblast is going to take me out. So there's a curse on my Gouging Fire. What's it on my Raging Bolt? That's a real question. But Flare Blitz going to fire. We are going to take some mean recoil damage. But we do do half damage. And then we take some recoil. Okay, so not bad. And yeah, I am cursed. Pretty dope. Yo, curse is such a cool move. I'm a fan. I'm a fan of that play right there. Um, I don't protect on either of these Pokemon, which is a little bad for us. Um, I think I'd rather just save our Groudon, because if I can get rid of this... Uh, if I can just get rid of this Ninetales, then we can have weather control for the rest of the match. And Trick Room, I think, has one turn left. It might be one. And Incineroar's back out and about. Oh, dude, that sucks. I mean, I do have Stone Edge, which I might just want to choice into. I do have Stone Edge. I do have Stone Edge. And actually, I totally forgot. We're Inner Focus. We are Inner Focus, which is gorgeous. Um, he's going to fake out probably Gouging Fire, and I'm just going to double down in this slot. I'm going to mm, choice into Stone Edge. I'm going to look to get rid of Incineroar. I'm so looking to get rid of Incineroar. I'm not too worried about Ninetales. I'm not worried about Ninetales. Let's be honest here. He's going to go for Fake Out into that slot. That's fine. We're actually able to soak, which is awesome. War Veil gets set up. That's fine. I got Brick Break in the back end, which is huge for us. Uh, brick Break in the back end. Stone Edge going to fly here. Pop. Do some nice damage. We love that damage. And just Trick Man. He's going to swap what's it called, though. He's going to swap Ninetales just for weather control. But I feel as from here, we could just Brick Break, break the screen. Kind of go from there, right? I don't know who he's going to swap, though. And swapping in Cinemore would be nice, because he knows I'm not clear eminent on my crowd on. It was on my Gouging Fire. But I'm surprised that he hasn't sent out the like, Calyrex yet. So I'm going to Brick Break this slot, try to get rid of you. And I'm going to Stone Edge into this slot. I'm choosing to Stone Edge now. Even though maybe I should have went into Sacred Fire. Stone Edge is going to be our play. He's going to stay on the field here. So we're going to say bye-bye to Ninetales. That's huge. He's probably sitting here like, oh, I don't care. I got a War Veil up. No, you don't. No, you don't, because Brick Break taking this bad boy out. I love Brick Break, man. And love it. And we get the KO on top of that. So bye-bye screens. Bye-bye Incineroar. Brown on kicking it recently. Kicking it. So we're choice to the Stone Edge. Um, it's This has got to be Calyrex, right? 
This has got to be Calyrex, and if it is, we still have Terra, which is huge. And if it is Calyrex, I'd be so, like, weirded out. Or if it wasn't Calyrex, I'd be weirded out. But I, I just don't understand why they didn't bring it in this Pokemon earlier. Especially with the Trick Room. So from here, I'm just going to go into the Fire Terra type. I'm going to go into a Heat Crash. And we are choice into the Stone Edge. So we're just going to keep throwing Stone Edges at him. Just keep sending them. Keep on sending them, baby. I'm not going to say anything. I'll say something maybe in the next match. But I don't want to jinx anything right now. I was about to say something. You guys will understand a little bit. Let's see how this plays out. He's just going to protect Calyx. But actually, I'm going to just say it. Screw it. My RNG has been awesome today. Maybe I shouldn't have said that. We're going to start missing some attacks. But Stone Edges has been landing. Blades have been landing. Been loving it. We've been loving it. We've been loving it. See see how good I am when RNG is on my side? When I'm landing my shots, I am kicking it. Um, Honestly, he's going to Terrasalize here. I mean, I could still go into a Heat Crash just play it safe. But we already know he's going to Terrasalize. Uh, do I just switch to Blades? I'm going to just switch to Blades. I know you're Terrasalizing. I know you're Terrasalizing. Yep, see? Good swap on me for Blades. Probably Water. Maybe even Fire. Either or. Hopefully Fire, to be honest. It is Fire. It's a great call on our, us to just switch it over to Blades. Because now we got Crystal Place Blades, Fire, and Stone Edge. Both super effective on this thing. And Stone Edge is landing. Yo, my boy not playing around. My Entei's not playing around. See, my RNG going crazy today. We're landing everything. We're landing everything, which is amazing. Winning match is no problem. We're sitting 2 0 with this crowd on squad. Moving on to our final match, and we're going up against Terry the Terrapagos. Now, this Pokemon is very strong when it comes to regulation G. It sets up Calm Mind, it just starts throwing Terra Star Storms, and it's a big time problem. I'm honestly, I am thinking of just going into Groudon, maybe, uh, what is this Pokemon called? Group on it, and just putting that bad boy to sleep. Might be in our best interest. And I kind of like it. We haven't used Brute Bonnet today, so yeah, I think that's a fine play for us. The only way of getting rid of Weather would be Terrapagos Terrasalizing. And other than that, they can't really take away Weather. They do have Terrain Control, but I'm not too worried about it. Um, hmm. Who should my next two Pokemon be? Probably Shen Pao and Entei are looking pretty good. Entei looking like it's doing some big time damage up against a lot of these guys. So I do like this. As much as I want Raging Bolt... I feel like we need some physical attackers, because once Terrapagos Calm Minds boost, special attackers aren't really doing too much, so physical attackers are going to be worth that. Plus, I like the typing of Shen Pao and uh, Entei up against their Pokemon. Just got to watch out for Rock Ogre Pond, just hit me with the Ivy Cudgel, but I feel like we can outspeed that Pokemon. We can throw an Ice Spinner its way. Just do a lot of damage. Just do a lot of damage all around. But yo, that trainer card right there, fire, gas, shiny Umbreon looking over the cliff, gas, fire. Nothing but gas. That was sick. So he ends up going Terry the Trap goes in. Is that indeed do? Is that indeed do? Indeed do? Let's see. Who was I can't see behind your big head, Groudon. You might want to move. I'm, I'm sitting here trying to figure out what Pokemon it is, but Groudon's just taking up the screen. I think it's Indeedy. Yeah, it's Indeed. All right. Thanks, Groudon. Thanks for uh, moving out the way when I asked. All right. So uh, from here, I mean, we could Spore. Could definitely support. I'm going to go for it. I mean, you could go for a follow me here, but you know what? I'm just going to go for a bleeds. RNG's kicking. I I'm not going to I'm not gonna lie here. My RNG's kicking. I'm going to go for blades here, and I'm going to go for a spore. He might terrestrialize turn one just to bounce this weather. I don't know. I mean, I wouldn't terrestrialize just yet, to be honest. I'd, I'd let me have my sun fun. My fun in the sun. I, let, I, I, I would let me have it. What a coward. Not let me have my fun in the sun. I'm just trying to get my tan on, man. Just trying to tan up here. He's going to Terrasalize turn one. If no follow me comes out here, this thing going to bed. This thing going night night. He's going to take away my weather. What a no fun Nancy over here. No one's allowed to have weather. There goes my Protosynthesis. And the terrain's gone, which is actually not bad. And you have Fake Out. What is your problem? You have Fake Out. Terra Star Storm is fine. You have Fake Out. How dare you? Am I Covert Cloak? I might be Covert Cloak. I'm not even lying. I might be Cobra Cloak. I think I might be. Yeah, Blades is landing. We love you, Blades. Crowd, can we, like, see the action? And, yeah, I am Cobra Cloak. Oh, my God. Brute Bonnet, thanks for playing. Have a day, Brute. Have a day, Brute. All right, so from here, honestly, now would be a smart time for us to swap ground on, but I feel like we just have to keep attacking. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to double down. I'm just going to go for Blades and Crunch. 
into the Serapico slot while it's slumped. Just keep attacking. Yo, Brute Bonnet's tail, though. So funny. I think I'll show this thing again. It has a little dinosaur tail. It's my, it's my, it's my favorite thing in, in this game, I think. Brute Bonnet's tail. He ends up withdrawing in DD. Going to, look at his tail. <laughs> Going to something that's going to die out through his blades. Oh, Corona. Okay, I don't mind that. Landis Blades. Landis Blades. This thing slumped. Blades is landing, yo. Blades is having a day today. Blades is having a day. Crunch getting off some damage as well. And KO in the trap goes with a crit, yo. My boy. My dog. My mushroom. My dinosaur mushroom. Let's go, Brute Bonnet. Have a day. Have a day. So we get rid of trap goes and we get rid of terrestrialization. So honestly, now would be a good turn to swap my crowd on. I like weather. Kind of want the. I kind of need the weather. So Ogre Pond's gonna come out here now. A little scary. I mean, a nice little like rage powder could be nice, but but my only problem with that is he's grass type. Just gonna rip a crunch over here. And who should we swap into? I going for a grass move. If anything, I'm gonna go into Entei here. No way you're going for an Ivy Cudgel into the slot. So just swap just so we can get weather for later. There's the tail again, yo. Come on, man. So, so funny. So cool. I'm a big fan of dinosaurs, but that's just hilarious. That's, that's legit a dinosaur tail. You can't tell me it's not. And he has little stubs as legs. Like, look at his little feet. They look like stool-like legs, right? They look like chair legs. <laughs> It looks like chair legs, but he ends up going for power whip into this uh, slot. He's going to go for a fiery dance here. He's going to KO my brute. He's not going to KO my brute. I lied. Brute Bonnet's getting off crunches. He ain't playing around today. Brute Bonnet. The fence dropped. We love you. Um, I'm here, we're just going to eat speed. It's quite, it's quite simple. He ends up withdrawing Volcarona. So Volcarona's going to get withdrawn. He's going to Ivy Cudgel take out my Entei. And we're going to bring back out the sun for the rest of the match. Indeed, he comes out here. Indeed, he no e speeds allowed. Smart little booger. So we know their whole team. I'm choosing the e speed. I might just have to swap him, going to ground on. But I think we die out here. Yeah, I was gonna say he probably Ivy Cudgels KOs me. Not a bad play from him. All right, Anthony, thanks for playing. Thanks for doing nothing. I appreciate you. Um, Brute Bonnet, going to get rid of the sturdy ability and actually do nice damage, dude. I'm loving Brute Bonnet. And we can just go into you right here. Probably just fire tower and look to just rip blades and hopefully RNG is still here, but it, I think I depleted that uh that gauge. I really do. <clears throat> My pro synthesis pops, I guess special defense boost not really mattering. I'm on 19 HP. And if I can, dude, I'd love to get off a of synthesis. I'm gonna go for a synthesis alongside with the precipice blades. Oh wait, wait, wait. A terra precipice blades. Forgot. Forgot, because follow me's probably poking out here. If I can get off synthesis in the sun, I can get back some mean HP, and that could really help me out. That's what I'm hoping here. And if I forgot to Terra, that would have been awful. That would have been awful, because I believe he's just going for Power Whip. I don't think he goes for a... I really don't think he goes for an Ivy Cudgel here in the Groudon. Really don't see that happening. He's thinking about it. Oh, man. If you do that, that could be game. This could be devastating. I really just need at least one of these Blades landing for me to have a nice shot at winning this game. There's my Terra. Come on, Groudon. Come on, go for Power Whip in this slot. We really need it. We really need it. You can go for Follow Me. I don't mind it. There's Follow Me. Show me Power Whip. Show me Power Whip. Please and thank you. Oh, man. What a read. It's a big time read. It's a big time read. That's a big time. Read. That really just puts us in the dumps here. All right, um, let's figure this out. Best synthesis going. Rubana getting back to me, which is huge, especially in the sun. You get back a ton. Get back a ton. 164. Sheesh. All right. Okay, I have Focus Ash, which is a lovely sight to see. Um, I think from here our best play would just be to crunch this bad boy. And just protect my Shen Pao. Save our Focus Ash. Turn this into a 2v2, hopefully. Hopefully that Ogre Pond is attacking my... 
my Shen Pao, because I think it's going to be Follow Me and then another Ivy Cudgel. But man, that read was huge. So now we're both out Terra. I at least did get some HP back from my, for my Brute Bonnet to keep it on the field. Look a bit. Maybe ho hopefully soak up shot. It does have a special defense boost. So it's soaking rather well on the special defensive side, but mm, that read there just put our opponent right back in the game. Really did. So we're going to protect our Snow Leopard. Hmm. Just to follow me, can you please attack Shen Pao? That's all I ask. Don't read a protect. Cool. That's, that's, dude, that's huge for us. This Brute Bonnet's not playing games. So you're going to take out the Ndidi. We can't Sucker Punch, but we are... We should be fastest, right? Yeah. Volcarona and Ogre Pond on the field. We're going to be fastest. We are going to take some Rocky Helmet damage, but I don't care. We get back. Or uh, we did some nice damage there. And now from here... I might honestly just synthesis and go full HP with Brute Bonnet. Could just attack him. Um... I have Sash, which is just so massive for us. I have Sash, and honestly, we should just go here. And we should just KO... We're not going to go for Iso Crash. We should just KO you. I mean, Sacred Sword is going to KO. I'm not going to go for Sucker Punch just in case he wants to do something with it. Um, I think we just KO you and we synthesis up. I mean, I have Focus Sash. I have Focus Sash. I have Focus Sash, and we really don't want... Uh, a fiery dance in the sun to come out of here and just, you know, do its thing. So I'd rather KO the Volcarona, get back some HP with uh, Brute Bonnet, and, and then uh, use my Focus Ash here. Yeah, smart call on my end. HP! 1 HP! And you guys are probably sitting there like, yo, Jeans, why why did you use Sacred Sword? I'm not relying on Icicle Crash to accuracy, and Sucker Punch wouldn't have hit if you used like Tailwind like he just did. But Sacred Sword should have KO'd! Oh man. Alright, you know what? We're just gonna go here, crunch that slot, and we're gonna go for Sucker Punch in this slot now. He's got Tailwind, he's got Speed, I think he's looking to attack, so hopefully Sucker Punch can just fly, KO this thing, and we can just start crunching down this Ogre Pond. 1 HP? See, my plan was looking good there. If we KO Volcarona, it's a 2v1 situation. Wasn't expecting him to really go for Tailwind either. But, uh, yeah, Sucker Punch going to, um... Did I really just do that? Did I really just do that? I'm get a crit regardless. Can I get a crit here? Did I really just do that? Did I really forget about the terrain? Did I really forget about the terrain? I should just went for Icicle Crash and Ogre Pond. Because, yeah, terrain ends and then I could have just sucker punched away. Oh, man, I hate this game. How did I forget about the terrain? What a blunder by me. What a blunder by me. I can't believe I forgot about the terrain. You guys are probably yelling at your screens like, Jeans, the terrain's there. Jeans, the terrain's there. Jeans, the terrain's there. <laughs> But hey, I'll take I'll take a winning record all day though. I thought we played this one really well, but one HP bandits, man, kind of doing me dirty. Not gonna lie, not gonna lie. I wouldn't have even went for sucker punch, but yeah, definitely a blunder on my end. I'm just gonna run this match. GG's to our opponent. We're, we go two and one for today's video. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Groudon still lighting up the regulation G ladder. I don't know why this Pokemon fell off. This Pokemon is absolutely amazing. I mean, you got Karidon. Can kind of do what he does, but not as good as Groudon. Groudon's just an OG, and this thing rips, especially with all the great moves it can learn. You guys seen Brick Break get used today, Heat Crash, obviously, and Precipice Blades, but the rest of the team really thrived out. You had Chen Pao, Brute Bonnet, Entei, Raging Bolt, top tier. Can't go wrong with Raging Bolt, and Gouging Fire, who's still a strong Pokemon within this format. But guys, that is going to be for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me, and if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positivity day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.